I've always been interested in etiquette, and I sense a growing desire for something better. I think people are tired of seeing people behave badly and being treated badly. And after season one of The Real Housewives, um, a lot of people reached out to me and asked me my advice from what to wear to what to say, from table manners to radiating self-confidence. So it really inspired me to write my book, Class with the Countess. You dedicate the book to your husband. I do. Do you worry with the breakup that it might take away the message a little? Of course I, I worry. When I wrote the book, you know, I wrote it from a different place. I was secure in my marriage and I had no idea this was going to happen to me. So I think that, that the information is really good and I shared it from a really good place. Uh, at the time and this you know I've been totally blindsided by what's happened you know after 16 years of being married it's like something has died you know and and I'm going through a grieving process you know the cast has been amazing through this this whole thing you know Jill was like I told you you should you know find a new husband because <laughs> she was Jill was always mad that he wasn't there Ramona doesn't edit herself, and not that I'm saying that you have to be fake. It's not about being fake. It's about, you know, portraying yourself um, the way you would like to be perceived. For whatever reasons, I just really don't like being in the presence of Sonny. I don't think that Ramona is that shocked by herself on the show. That's the, that's the scary part. I think she thinks it's just fine, you know. I must say, this season, I was a little bit shocked even at, at myself, because, you know, you always say things which, you know, you, you forget that you're on camera all the time. I am not perfect. I'm a countess. I am not perfect. I'm a human just like everybody else, and I make mistakes like everybody else. I've never been afraid of wearing color. I've been wearing pink shirts since I was 16. Simon um, isn't that bad. He's, you know, he has a good spirit, and, you know, he's totally in love with his Alex, and I think that's the cutest thing. And who am I to judge their relationship? <laughs> This has been a great experience for me. I have two wonderful children. We have, we are friends. My husband and I are going to remain friends. And you know, you never know what happens in life. Um, but for the moment, I'm moving forward and um, trying to be the best, you know, we're trying to be the best parents and remain friends for our kids. I think she snuck out. Oh, she definitely snuck out. She came, she did the drive-by.